What's up guys? Welcome back to Half Men Half Tech. My name is Ben, your host. So finally, when it comes to Mac OS 12.4, I'll be happy to let you know that we now have the second beta or beta 2 that has been released just about two days ago. And you can see for me here on being on the developer beta, I can see this update and you can see the update size that it comes in for me on my MacBook Pro at exactly 2.6. 0.3 gigs and I was updating from Mac OS 12.4 beta one now obviously at the time apple released this update this is not all that they released if we go to the apple dot uh, beta page you'll be able to see other updates that they released on the developer page so we have mac os 12.4 beta 2 of course this is the update for this and then we have ios as well as ipad os 15.5 beta 2 and watch os 8.6 beta 2 so tvOS was also another update that was released so if you are interested in most of these updates i do cover them here on the channel and the sub to the channel would be great now let's go ahead and look at the software changes that came with this beta 2 version so if we go to the about this mac section you can see the new build number that we have it's 21 f 5058e so the end build is an e and before that on beta 1 it was also an e so in a sense we still at the same level as beta 1 in terms of stability now in terms of what's new or what's been updated with this mac os 12.4 beta 2 the first one i would like to bring your attention to is passkey and this has to do with your icloud apple id passkey so if you go to your apple id in your system preferences right there and go to where it says password and security you will see this last section and there's an error on this a uh, version where it's sort of taking time and this is not the first time because i had through uh, to go through most of these changes with the update you can see here uh, that it takes a moment to load but there's this apps using apple id and apple has updated this on uh, mac os 12.4 beta 2 to include apps and websites that do support passkey so if you don't know passkey if i was to go to edit it would show most of the applications that i'm signed in using this um, apple id or passkey and basically apple has updated this to support more sites and also this has to be done by the developer of the apps and websites to allow for this passkey so if you have like a device that has um, the apple face id or the fingerprint recognition you can sign into your account without having to type your username and passwords all you need to do is scan your fingerprint or your face and you'll be able to do this and with better to this is now supported so that's amazing also something that has been updated with this beta 2 has to do with audio sharing so this can be like a play or anything whether it's uh, sharing audio that you're doing so now they've added support for the uh, beats and these are the beats fit pro so i just want to show you how those beats uh, look so these are the ones that they've added support for this and it's good to see that more of these are being added now there's also another change that has been updated when it comes to this beta if you open up podcast for the first time after updating you'll be able to see a new splash screen and you can see how it basically looks for me on my mac welcome to podcast and it has filter episodes and browse by season also something else that i wanted to show you has to do with itunes so let me just pull up my itunes section here on the mac so if, it, if it's in the music app this is where you find your itunes and now there's an update with this beta 2 whereby contents or media that you download will now show under the library section under uh, uh, your music section if it's music or something that's in the music app the same applies to like the apple tv app so if we go to the apple tv app it's just opened up on my other monitor here and you go to the store section and you were to download certain content it would show under library downloaded content so it seems like they are sort of organizing things to make them more better to find under downloaded section which is something that's good and this also goes on to other uh apple services and applications that have downloaded media and uh, you can always see your downloaded content 
under that now when it comes to the app store i'll be happy to let you know that there have been updates for this so if we open up the app store and go to where it says arcade for some applications before you actually install the game or app it will uh, give you an updated legal text change that apple has implemented and this is also going to include notification for apple marketing so it depends with um, your device and whether you use apple arcade or not so that's good also there have been uh, wording changes in the background or in the code of this um, find my uh, items where if you have like an air tag this is my air tag called tea bag it's my tech bag and uh, if an unidentified item has been uh, found moving with you the text has sort of been tweaked and not much of a change they just minor wording change so that has to do with air tags and unidentified or unauthorized tracking also something that i wanted to bring to your attention with this beta 2 has to do with your notifications so if you go to this bell here notifications and focus uh, there's something in the code that mentions that with mac os 12.4 apple has made suggestions and also is planning to sort of revamp focus this is in the code and you won't be able to see it with this version but it sort of pertains to the next version Version that we are going to see when it comes to the mac os 13 version whether it's going to be mammoth or not time is going to tell so that focus it's going to be more easier to set focuses and make it according to your custom preferences or settings now other than that this is how this update came in for me on my macbook pro not much of a change just minor stability and bug fix update and wording changes to some of the terms and conditions now let me know what you think about it and stay safe and i'll see you in the next video